YouTube, this is Jemmy in Transit, and it's been quite a while. Um, there have been several reasons I haven't been uploading, but the main reason is just because I have not found motivation. I am extremely lazy, I don't get a lot of things done, a uh, whole bunch of crap to be honest. My main, my main reason is I just haven't had motivation. But now that the season is starting back up again uh, at, at home, I find reason to make videos. So, as you can tell, it has been uh, requested by a couple of viewers for me to start making videos again. And uh, so, I'm going to get started with it. And um, today's review is of a uh, new 12 foot photoreal Reaper, um, Ghost, excuse me, from At Home. Retail for 119. You can see right there, 119, which in my opinion is uh, just way too steep. But I will give you my story um, over at it in a minute because I actually got this for a crazy good price. So, anyways, as you can see, it has been eight whole freaking months since I've uploaded, which is just absolutely unacceptable. So I'm gonna get started with it again and. <laughs> Maybe we can start pumping out more videos. I do have a lot more inflatables since the last two seasons, so maybe I can uh, satisfy your guys' inflatable tastes with uh, some videos, even though they just sounded incredibly perverted. Uh, let's see what we can do. So, with your guys' help, I'm sure we can update or um, improve our viewer count and uh, maybe get some more subscribers over here, get some more views, you know, stuff like that. So. Uh, I don't know why my camera's not focusing, piece of shit. Um, the first thing I'd like to say about this inflatable, if the camera would actually like to focus, that would be nice. There we go. It is, it's, it's not what it is on the box. You can, whoa, okay. I'm not going to do that. You can see there is claw on the inflatable. But you open it, and there is no claw. Uh, except for the arms and the head. Now, I will say... It is uh, pretty good quality, but the thing is, um, instead of five LEDs, it only has three. And it lights it up decent, but uh, it, it's really not enough. So for a $120 price tag, I think it's not worth it. Um, so I'll include a picture of the 2016 model because it uses this. This is the 2016 model that's on the box. Uh, but what it is in real life is not quite that. So I'll include a picture of it right here. So anyways, here's the picture. You can see it. What? There. Right about there, you can see it. There's the picture. And you can tell it, it's the exact same one that's on the box, and that picture was from 2016, 2017, and that's the one that's on the box. So they obvious, obviously did not update it. So they, that is a poor quality flaw right away. So with enough bitching aside, I guess let's just like unbox this guy right away. So I do have um, a little uh, underside of a giant Tupperware laid out because uh, I really hate my new base fan inflatables getting scratched up because who does like that? So uh, here he is. I have already opened him, um, but this thing is in mint condition. It's still brand new. So anyways, that's what it looks like when it, when it was opened. So, and another thing, another big thing Jemmy did, excuse me for that, another big thing Jemmy did this year is they redesigned stakes. As you can see, they are now barbed. So I suppose that's actually a really nice feature. So, but no new bulbs, no spare bulbs for the new C7 inflatable. So, of course they're going to do that. They're going to down their quality. But set those up there or down there, I should say, in the instructions. So there's that. And there's the inflatable in the bag. So I will be back to you in one second with the inflatable out of the bag. So as you can see, I have taken it out of the box and it is ready to be inflated. So without further ado, let's just plug it right in. And I'll be back to you when it's plugged in. All right, so here it goes. It is inflating right now. One thing that it doesn't do is it doesn't stand up on its own unless you tether it, just like most 12-foot inflatables. But here he goes. And almost there. Come on. Yeah, he's he's not gonna he's not gonna fit in here. Um, but that's okay. I'll just show them to you like that. But there he is. Typical short circuit inflatable. Um, like I said, comes with three short circuit lights. Uh, it's LED. Let me turn off the lights for you. 
All right, there you go. That is absolutely epilepsy inducing to be honest they they are way bright but he is massive he's my first 12 foot inflatable well 12 feet tall um he inflates actually really tightly um even though he comes with a uh a base fan that that isn't one of the high velocity fans as the jemmy fan calls it um it is nice i will show you give you a view of the whole thing there you go um, and the face, they made a couple versions of the face, but this is one of the better ones in my opinion. I think it looks pretty good. It is considered one of the photorealistic inflatables, but, you know, they're all the same to me. Anyways, guys, that is the photoreal airblown inflatable short circuit ghost. And, yeah. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mention. I bought this guy at home, and what I was going to say was that I actually got him for $49. So if you sign up for at home, you actually get a 10% coupon for your first uh, purchase. But I went to go put mine at the counter and um, to check it out, lady scanned it and it had the five foot mummy barcode on it. So I paid 49 bucks for it. And I wasn't gonna say shit because you know, then I was gonna have to pay 120 for it. She would have called over her manager and everything. But that was that was just insane. I was blown away and I still had like 90 bucks left in my pocket, you know. Could have gone in and got another one, but eh, I'm happy with this one. Anyways, guys, so that's my video. See, no cloth and everything. So, Anyways, guys, I'll try to uplate, upload more often, but for now, stay cool. See you guys later.